Okay, so uh, I now out of detention for teaching people how to um, install Call of Duty Mobile on a Chromebook because apparently it's violence to do so. Uh, yeah, so I have a strike on my channel because I showed people how to install Call of Duty Mobile on a Chromebook. It's such a violent piece of shit. Anyways. Here is my new uh, hollow ISO fractal node 202 console. Uh, purchased the fractal 202 case. Uh, I have inside of this a RX 6600 XT, uh, a Ryzen 5 5600 CPU. 8 gigs of RAM and uh, a 1 terabyte uh, M.2 SSD um, with Hollow ISO installed onto it, which is basically Steam Deck OS uh, port or kind of, I guess, the. Uh, the <laughs> it's the uh, recovery image that has been kind of tweaked and stuff to run on other devices. So it's not perfect. Um, I'm more the the end goal here is to actually put actual Steam OS on it when Valve ever releases it to the public. But for now, Hollow ISO is kind of doing the job, and mostly this is for bringing to a friend's house for multiplayer, um, just to show him a little bit about PC gaming and such, because um, he's he's more of a console gamer. And I wanted to have more of a console experience to show him um, and such. But, of course, I'm also going to use it at home. <laughs> um, so, right now, I have... I had... I would not recommend... I wish I remember what motherboard I bought. And I could look it up because I really wouldn't recommend this motherboard. Um, it's a... Asrock motherboard. It was literally the cheapest one. Gee, go figure. The cheapest one was kind of crap. Um, I couldn't install Hollow ISO onto the SSD with this motherboard installed. Um, it would not see the internet even if it was plugged in through a LAN cable. And so I had to use another computer to actually flash the ISO, and then once that was done, I, I was able to uh, get the uh, internet on there, uh, wired and wireless, but for some reason the installation, I couldn't get internet at all onto that, and so I got that, and there are some bugs that I've been having that I haven't had on other computers, because I have tried this on other computers, and I didn't have these issues, so... One of them's where some games, the sound, it will be fine when you launch the game, but the sound will basically just kick right out when you get into an actual game. So games like, uh, uh, what is it, uh, what's the name of the game? Like Rogue Company. I, I can, the game has so sound, everything runs, I believe it runs at 4K, um, 60 FPS. But once you get into a game, the sound just disappears. Um, so there's that. And uh, Doom Eternal has the same issue and a few other games. But uh, I'm sure if I had a different motherboard, it would work like any other PC that I own. So that was a dumb idea, I guess, to purchase that motherboard or to cheap out on that motherboard. Um, but other than that... What else is, is um, happening? So, yeah, I said the specs. This thing has a cool little stand on here. You can see where it stands upright, almost like a PlayStation 5 or something. It is very close in size to a PlayStation 5. It's, like, slightly smaller in some ways. The case is slightly smaller. Um, except, I think, the depth of the case is, like, four inches longer than the... the, the it's four inches deeper than the PS5. Um, but yeah, and I picked up this controller to go with it, actually two of them, 
And that's the Gullah Kit, whatever this is called, uh, King Kong Pro 2. It has multiple different ways of connecting, and you can use gyro and, and stuff like that. I use gyro and shooters, so I figured I'd pick this up. It has hollow, hollow sticks, or what do you call them? Um, I think I might be getting the name of the operating system on here confused with the, 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 the sticks on this. They're basically magnets and yada yada. Uh, so there's that. And of course I have a keyboard to go with it because there's no way in hell I could just go through this whole thing without ever having to touch a keyboard. Um, but it does have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth built onto the motherboard, even though the motherboard I don't recommend is a piece of crap. I will try to remit, I will try to put that motherboard in the description for you not to purchase. Not a link to it. <laughs> Just the name. Um, but yeah, other than that, the uh, performance has been fairly good. Running a lot of games in 4K, mostly like little kind of indie titles and older games and, you know, games like Rogue Company or whatever. And uh, a lot of games are running at 1440p, and that's all at 60 FPS because I don't have a monitor that supports high refresh rate, or a TV actually that supports high refresh rates. Um, and so there's that. And now I'm going to boot this up and start playing it. So I'm going to pause right now. Oh, before I do that, I want to set this up for some size comparisons because I didn't see a lot of size comparisons with this case. Um, so I wanted to compare it to the Series S. Things that I have, like the Switch, anything that, that, you know, could give you an idea as to how big this thing is. So I'll be right back. All right, so here we have the fractal node with a um, a uh, Xbox Series S attached to it or on top of it. Here we go. Xbox Series S on top of the fractal node. It's about, you could fit another Xbox Series S on top of it and probably put two 3DS consoles, large 3DS consoles like here and here. Um, so there is that. <laughs> so we have the Xbox Series S and uh, here's just a, a keyboard. So the keyboard is basically the same width, but you could fit like one and a half of these keyboards on top of here. Um, so this is a, a common Logitech uh, keyboard and mouse combo. Um, I wanted to put my Steam... I wanted to put the Switch on it, but I, I hid the Switch on myself. Uh, hmm... I don't get a PS5 controller. So I have a PS5 controller, I just don't have the console. So here's the PS5 controller. So that's how that is. And trying to find more common household items. I've got something about the same size as a shoe box. It's one of the boxes that came that came with the parts that I put in here. So this is basically the same exact size as a, maybe a little bit smaller, like slightly smaller than a shoe box. And uh, <laughs> it, you could probably fit. You could put maybe close to one more of those. Not exactly. It's a little bit bigger if you put two of these. Two of these would be a little bigger than this. But obviously you see that the, the width is actually... Um, this is... Uh, yeah. <laughs> so I'll show you. Let's see. This is on the... Yeah, that's... Like that. <laughs> and uh, 
So, yeah, I was trying to get some kind of idea of what the, the size is like with that. It's not small uh, compared to most consoles, but it's probably on the very big side of the biggest consoles uh, that you'll see. So now I'm going to come back and I'm going to put this in my entertainment center and do a little gameplay on my television. Okay, so there is the fractal node in uh, or PC in my entertainment center in its least desired orientation, but that's, uh, <laughs> let me just slam the door really hard. Uh, yeah, so that's the console in its, uh, horizontal orientation and now go uh, up to the TV okay now <laughs> Hold on, I will turn this thing on. <laughs> Alright, so we're booting into SteamOS. With no sound because I muted the TV while I was talking. And need to connect my controller. Oh. Controller is in the wrong mode. It needs to get into the right mode. All right. So we have some games installed, 51 games on a one terabyte drive. Do do some bright memory in infinite. I believe this game plays 1440p 60 FPS um, I'm going to lower the volume a bit because it is late at night during this filming still too loud No ray tracing, I believe. Uh, I don't think there's much in the way of ray tracing on Linux. I think there's some support, but it's very minimal. So right now, if you can't see the frame rate up there, it's a lock 60. Let's go into the settings. And uh, video settings, 1440p. I'm limiting the frame rate to 60 FPS because if I unlock it, it looks all stuttery. And uh, a lot of... Let's see about raising the. We get some. Yeah, I'm trying to bump the set up, settings up a little bit. It's a mixture of you see high and medium. Uh, obviously, no ray tracing. There's no FSR in the game, but we have the system wide FSR does work. Uh, we have that over here. It's, I believe, enabled. Let's check. Set it to 11 watts to try to reduce any kind of anything. Possible heat. This case is not known for its good heat. So we have FSR enabled sharpness at 3. And let's, I want to see if I'm quite sure FSR should be enabled. 
turned on. Yes, it is on. So, FSR, system wide FSR is in fact on. So, let's go ahead and. I don't know why the analog stick doesn't work. I mean, the D pad doesn't work in the menus, it only partially works in the menus. It was working before, and then when I go back to the main menu, it's like, no, you have to use the analog stick instead of the D-pad. So here we are. I'm um, getting a fairly, right now, perfect locked 60 FPS. Oh. Probably could bump the settings up even more. Shelia, there are several enemy ships closing. Oh boy. The ship's armor is uh -oh. should be. Here, I forgot how to get over that. Is it just double jumping? Yeah, okay, double jumping. But I don't have any weapons. Uh, I can't get over there. Uh, let me see here. Okay. Okay. Here we are. Okay. Do these guys have any guns? Yes. Right now. Oops. I fell in. Anyways, it's running at uh, lock 60. <laughs> um, so that's... And I could definitely bump the settings up and still get a lock 60 there. Um, the only thing with this is you got to actually go into the settings of every game and I set it to native. Go to the properties in here and then you go down to game resolution and set it to native because it's set to, uh, the resolution of the Steam Deck because it thinks you have a Steam Deck. So you have to do that with every single game or you can choose a different resolution. I just set it to native because that allows me to select any re resolution I want to. So, yep. And can it crisis? Yes. It can crisis at 14... This is Crisis Remastered, 1440p, 60 FPS. Um, still a bit of a demanding game, oddly enough. Like you would think by now you'd be able to run it at 4K, like Ultra, everything maxed out on these uh, settings. But no. I know it's the remastered version, but... With CryEngine. go to the graphic settings 1440p I got vsync enabled uh, for some reason in this menu I don't know that you can oh you can okay all right so there's advanced graphics settings DLSS I didn't know this hit game had DLSS but it does we're all at all high uh, ray tracing is off I wonder if you can turn it on. There's performance high. Let's see what happens if I put... Uh, what is ray tracing boost though? Can I even enable it? I don't know. These settings... The settings menu isn't the best. Oh, that's right. I had to actually reduce the shadow quality. Because it was still giving me not a uh, lock 60. Let me just see what happens if I enable, supposedly enable ray tracing. I don't know if it's going to work with this game, but um, mm. 
loading times have been fine for me. I haven't noticed anything. I don't know how it compares to current consoles, but... You're approaching a line of KPA defenses. Use grenades to blast your way through. What am I doing here? Am I being attacked? Oh, shit. I didn't know. Running at a lot I don't think there's any real ray tracing or anything, and I can't figure out where the hell I would go. I guess the water. Does this guy have a gun? No, I took it. Out of weapons. Hey guys, stop that! I just want to see if the ray tracing is working, and you guys are getting in my way. Oh boy. Well, let's see. Yeah, I don't see any reflections. I have uh, gyro enabled. That's all he had. Anyway, so it's running at 60 with those settings. I don't want to waste my time getting killed every five seconds, but... Then we have Crisis 2 runs again. Um, 1440p, 60 FPS. We could do Darksiders 2 Definitive Edition at uh, 4K, 60 FPS. Uh, if you, you know, there may be some games that you might want to see that I can't play because I just either don't have them or, uh, they simply, um, don't work right. I, I should show, what am I doing? I should show, uh, Spider-Man. That works. <laughs> but right now, here, 4K. Running native 4K, everything I believe is maxed out at 60 FPS. This is no place for a horse. Yes, it is. I bring the horsey. Anyways, I'm gonna get to Spider Man. I might want to see that. Where is the Spider-Man stuff? Ah, there we go. Spider-Man Remastered. Processing Vulcan shaders. Now, because this is SteamOS, there's no, there's no like HDR or anything. Unfortunately, uh, uh, Linux does not have HDR support, but it still looks really good. 
and we'll see what resolution we're running at here. Um, I have system-wide FSR on, so any game that's supporting lower than 4K is going to have FSR enabled. So let's check the state. This may be running at 1080p. We're out oh, displaying graphics. 1920 by 1080. With VSync enabled. There's no HDR. Oh, this already has FSR. So I probably turned FSR off because it says FSR 2.0. And it looks fairly good. Turned off res uh, dynamic resolution scaling. Apparently that causes stutters. Alright, so here I am. Spider-Man, Lock 60 so far. But when, normally when you swing around, it gets a little bit lower. It's not too bad. It's mostly locked at 60. Just starts off dipping. Gotta remember to scope that this construction site for Yuri. Yep, we got a big sucker there. But yeah. Here we are swinging around in Spidey Man stuff. No ray tracing again. Uh, thing <laughs> with uh, most Linux games that support uh, uh, most games that support ray tracing that play in Linux don't actually support ray tracing. So the reflections and such aren't going to look as nice. This game still looks really good, though. So yeah, there's Spider-Man. Anyone I can beat up on the floor here. <laughs> Spider-Man's an asshole. All right, so that's Spider-Man. Got an algorithm in the suit that can extrapolate where the kidnappers might have gone. Possible body heat signature in this area. out then uh, do house of the dead remake I've got this set up with gyroscope controls so that I can aim with the controller like you would on the switch This game, for some reason, is a bit taxing. 
because it's poorly optimized. So there's like a, I think this is supposed to be playing some video in the back, but it's not. I don't know if uh, using a different version of Proton would fix that, but it's only the menu, so I don't care. <laughs> There's that. We have Hellblade Sinuous Sacrifice. Mortal Kombat 11 runs great. Uh, Soul Calibur 6 runs great. Uh, you know, Sonic Mania, that obviously that's going to run fine. Streets of Rage 4 and all these other games. Uh, Witcher 3. Let's do Witcher 3, Wild Hunt. Game runs fine. I don't remember the resolution that uh, it runs at, <laughs> but I know that every game I try to tune it to at least run at 60 FPS, um, as close to locked as possible. So let's go into the options and see what we got going on here. The sync is on. 1080p. Uh, Reserve system gamma. I'm not even sure what that means. Hair works is off because apparently it causes problems. I don't know that I needed the water quality to be low or the texture quality to be low or this. Or... I don't remember. Hardware cursor. I'm not sure that's referring to anyways uh, does this require any okay so I could probably bump it up more than that and still be okay but so there's no apparent FSR support or any anything for this game so we should be uh, we should be, we should have uh, system-wide FSR enabled, and it is. Anytime you run below the native resolution of the screen, you get FSR. So, and honestly, it looks like 4K to me. <laughs> That's insane. It looks like a native 4K. 
You return. Shall I deal? Oh, this guy? Oh, uh, fuck him. Gotta go. So long. Till next time. So I'm sure I could bump up the, the graphics more than this. Let's see if I can go in and do that. I don't know. Can Is it select? Yeah. Let's go in and see about bumping the graphics up further. I'm not sure what this means. Oh, fuck that. I'm not restarting the game. You know what, let's just try high preset and see how that goes. Yeah, so we're almost at a lock 60. We're, I think that was just one hitch because I was uh, starting at... Uh, so yeah, 60 FPS, 1080p with FSR. Let's talk to the boy. He's got a lot to say. Anyway, so it's running quite fine. I'm going to go and try Ultra. No, not in that menu. Let's try Ultra. I don't know what it's going to look like. Uh, is it apply? Yeah, it is going to apply. And we're now on Ultra, and we're still getting 60 FPS. Oh, we got a dip there. I may have just been loading something in. Yeah, so we got Ultra at 1080p with system-wide FSR. It's actually looking quite good. Oddly enough, I never actually played this game except once on the Switch, and I was put off by the Switch port, so I kind of couldn't play. <laughs> I wasn't feeling it, but this, and even on the Steam Deck, a heck of a lot better. So maybe I'll start playing the damn game. The game looks good. Excuse me, sir. Anyways, there's that. The Witcher. Yeah, every game you see here does work. I've tested it. Um, Left 4 Dead 2. I mean, it's a very old game. It can run at 1080p on almost anything. Um, let's do some Hellblade. Yeah, let's do Hellblade. Now, just a warning, if anybody suffers from any kind of psychosis type shit, you probably shouldn't watch this. It even says there, warning. <laughs> so, yeah, that's a thing. Just letting you know. Alright, so we're running, it's at 1440p, uh, very high... Ray tracing supposedly on again. I don't. I don't believe that's true. We have AMD FSR set to balanced. So.
So, and it runs the lock 60. If you set it to 4K, it starts to stutter. But, uh, here it is. Looking forward to the new game. I played this on the Nintendo Switch. I waited for the Switch version, kind of. I didn't have an Xbox, and then they released on the Switch, and I was still impressed by that port. They did a good job with that for being on a Tegra processor. How will she get through? She'll need to find another way. Truth. The Northmen tell this story. Before the Earth was created, there was a world called Muspel. Because it was in the sun, it was bright and hot and flaming and burning. Sparks that flew out from Muspel became the stars. Other sparks melted ice in the frozen world of Niflheim, creating the body of the first giant. Sacrifices, burning slaves like me to reveal the path to Surt. I searched for meaning in their suffering, in their eyes, but they just screamed like helpless pigs. Free. Defy the gods, Senua! 
Find your own girl, like I find mine. My gods abandoned me. I am alone. Alright, so. Get a little. involved in that. <laughs> Anyways. So. And of course, there's also emulation. Uh, the emulation station, I could not get it to read the controller, but I have a separate Bato Sarah uh, on a thumb drive that I'm working on so that I can play those games. But, uh, yeah. Seems like a fairly adequate piece of hardware for now to uh, bring to a friend's house or whatever. And that's that. So thank you for watching, and uh, I don't know how long I'm going to be on this platform before YouTube decides that, I, uh, that I'm a serial murderer or something because I, uh, because I played Super Mario or something, but uh, I guess I'll enjoy it while it lasts, huh? And any, any other creator out there can also try to just have fun while, while it lasts until they get banned from the platform. Because um, they ate cereal or something. So have a good day. <laughs>